Come here, come here. So what's going on exactly? Everything's okay. Everything's okay. What's, what's okay? I was just told I can't come in because I don't have ID, and you changed your mind about that now? No, I'm not. You need ID to enter the building. Yeah, and I don't have ID. So. Okay, so you can have a prescription, a letter. Uh, actually, I don't have any ID, and these people know who I am. I'm Kim from the Committee 10 Homelessness Victoria, if you want to write it down. Yeah. You can write it down, Kim Hines from the Committee to End Homelessness Victoria. The management about it if you don't want to provide If you're not letting me in now, yeah. just let me know that you're not, not letting me in now. I'm not. Our policy is that you need ID. So you're not letting me in. <laughs> yeah, go get Doug. <laughs> Sorry? So you'll take a prescription as proof of identification? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know no. that that's illegal? Do you realize? You don't have to prescribe. Do you know that that's it. illegal to request a prescription we're not, we're, for we're ID? We're not requesting that. We're saying we'll work you with you. You just suggested. It's that. not yeah, a I request, can suggest though. That. It's not a request. <laughs> you guys just suggested that I give you a prescription yeah, to show my proof of who request. I am. I said you are, if you would like to. I would not like to, then actually. You then you, and do you guys you realize that you should not be asking people that? Because it's a private thing, their ID. It's Do you realize decision. that? It's your decision whether you want You're to You're putting them private. under duress okay. by asking well, them to show something that's private. Okay, well, I suggest you talk to one of the management. Though. I already yeah. have. Okay, you already have. Okay, Patrick so knows me really well. Okay. Hi. Okay. There's yeah, a problem and see, with Kim coming in? Yeah, right now there's a problem. Because there's a problem with me right now. The laundry room's wide open. We've got strangers, and there's some bitches giving head in the back kitchen. Okay, okay. We'll deal with and what time is it? It is 10 to 3. Mm. Maybe we can focus on some of that other shit rather than stopping somebody come in who's only advocating to help us. I understand that. No, you don't. No, Crystal, come here for a sec. Oh, no, actually, this is how people feel who are part of uh, the residents okay, here. Okay, well, the next time that we need every single staff responding to an overdose, I'm sorry that we don't have somebody right So now, now you're going to lay a guilt trip on me about it's not overdoses. A guilt trip. I'm just trying to explain that we have very limited resources and we're trying to So then let me in and stop being a way. police at the gate. When people, okay. you guys don't you even know. You know what, you're probably right. I'm actually pretty stressed right now, so I'm just gonna go. Oh, sweet. Actually, let's, hey, hey, Owen. Hey, Owen, let's have a little meeting out here because I'm not allowed in right now, right? Because I don't have ID. So, yeah, let's just film this here. So, uh, how you doing, Owen? How do you feel about me not being able to come in because I don't have ID on me right now? Sure. Yeah, so I have your paperwork for you. I know that's a really good news. And we're all supposed to be meeting upstairs right now, but... Doug's just on his way down right now. Yeah. I'm going to ask Lisa Helps if she can uh, maybe help make it a proclamation in uh, all of Victoria that uh, everybody who's living in an apartment building in Victoria has to start showing ID if they have visitors coming in and they're not allowed guests after 10. I think it should be a proclamation for all the yeah, apartments should in Victoria, be. Yeah. not just this yeah. one. Yeah. Not just the ones Portland Hotel Society run, like yeah. their ones in Vancouver. You know, all these people who, who I don't know, man. I, I'm glad I'm not working anymore in the field. Oh, here comes a brother. Hang on. Hey. Okay, so I'm being uh, told I can't come in because I don't have ID. So uh, I don't know, maybe they'll let me in because I'm a solid. Yeah, I see. Unless you want to tell them that we're going to go upstairs, they know that we're going to be able to do it. 
Well, I think we're going to do that. I need to talk to you. Let's go. Come in. Yeah, I'm going to move to the other one. Well, they're, they're letting me in under the auspice that this fella yeah. agreed to keep me in here and not let me upstairs. Yeah. Let's go this way. Yeah, I just got to test some rock. Uh, it'll show you. Oh, okay, sounds good. I'll yeah. just write it down. Thank you. Under duress. Yeah. Under duress? Yeah, yeah well, I'm, I'm showing it under duress. No, no, but I'm not forcing you to give it to me. Um, you, actually, yeah, you are. I can't come in unless I give it, and I want to visit people, so it is a force. Okay, it's under duress. You're not going to let me it's in. It's you personally. Okay, okay. It's PHS. Okay. This is okay. going to be a legal thing yeah. against BC Housing and Portland Hotel Society and Rich Coleman. You know, you can yeah. do a I'm union. You, I'm not like forcing you to. You're not. I, well, we understand you're just doing your job. I get what you're saying. Yeah. I just want to say something. You are part of a union. Yeah. And you can do a job action in solidarity with residents who are being oppressed by the actual rules and regulations. So don't personalize it. Go to your union and, and maybe see about how you can do some solidarity work with us because the management here is really oppressive and co opting everything. And there's, there's a case developing every month, and it's getting juicier and juicier. And yeah. thanks for your help, but just so you know, you don't have to do that. 